since I don't have that. My dad passed away since 2015. From the time when my dad died, we were just uh, like doorman. My mom has no work, and my stepmommy has no work, and we are twelve in number. We know how to survive with our money. If the time reaches that my mommy will go and bring money, she normally go and buy for her some of the foods in, our, in the market. Like in, in a ration, they've already, they, they have reduced food in the, in the ration. So she normally go and buy for us food so that we can be able to use it. So she normally buy for me school properties and some money she normally buy for my fellow young brothers and sisters so that we can be able to to continue with our education. The scholarship program has helped me to for in, in for fees and also apart from fees, the scholarship, those allowances that have been given, it has just made me just life comfortable in school and uh, it has just made me that feel equal with the other students in school. It has also helped me just to to keep my my parents going because of those allowances I just give to them some some amounts. Then the scholarship people around the office has been just fair to us. They have been treating us like they are our own fathers and mo like mothers to us. <sighs> Life before the scholarship was it was not good because in primary maybe you just go there. There's no Sub, like supportive, something like supportive, like maybe shopping, those things, other like allowances, pocket money. They were not there. You are just like, ah, let me just stay here. There is no life even. You are just like, there is no hope. You are just in a class. You are just here in the village, just staying here. There's, there's no that light of hope that I was having before the scholarship. But to, when the scholarship came, it gave me some encouragement that I can make it because of the support. At least when you are supported, you have that heart to study. From the beginning, when there's no cash transfer, we had a lot of issues actually in the community, especially affecting most of the, especially younger girls. But uh, when now this issue of cash transfer came in, has really helped a lot. Now, like, uh, if I find a girl who is a beneficiary, maybe in the household she's alone, attending the school she was, it was low, because, um, like, you know, they receive monastration every month, and when this time comes, you find a girl has to miss the period of uh, maybe three days or four days, even seven days sometimes, uh, not going to school because she cannot afford to buy the menstruation, the, 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 the sanitary parts and this. This has affected uh, most of the attendance. And this one, as it has affected the attendance, it has also affected the performance. Because when she missed the school, you find that uh, um, the lesson was going on, but she was not there. So at the end of the year, when she, or the end of the term, when she comes to do the exams, we find she has failed. So uh, when cash transfer comes in, these girls were able to now get their sanitary parts. These, uh, they have increased the, in, the, in the number of attendance in the school. It has also changed the decision making in the community. We find some communities they don't involve maybe their girls or female gender in any decision making. The only source of money now is now their girl. So they have changed the perspective of girl of our community. There are some communities who believe that education for girls is not is not good. They don't believe in education for girls. But since cash transfer comes in has changed the perspective of the community about the girls' education. They, they have also changed the lives of other siblings because not other 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 siblings they are not benefiting. If an household of maybe 19, a uh, household of 19 people in that household, but uh, that single girl she is able to buy maybe shoes for the brother, for uh, even the clothing for the other with that, the little cash they have. In the test, I should decide this is Anna. In the kitiote, I should. Nenua Kitabu, Nenua Kula Kitty or Shule, at the inform Nenua, Naliba Pesa Shule, come and assume a letter Pesa Shule Talipa, in the Pesa Yondel Trust. He Pesa Nasidia Sisi San, in the Sa Ilanaka Mumbani, Akuna Shule, come a Pesa Nenda Natoa, 
naenda tenenua hata kama biato tenenua hata kama eh, sister yake hakuna biato tenenua hata sister yake iko shule kama iko kitu kingine hakuna tapatia tenenua hii pesa nasaidia mimi sana sana nashukuru hii wonder trust sana sana sababu zamani iko shida kubwa sana lakini ila saa naingia alafu na kuja naandika msijana nasaidia sisi hata kama nyumbani hapa nasaidia mimi iko siku nyingine kama pesa naenda natoa kama hata kama hakuna chakula nyumbani nene nanua chakula ya toto nasaidia sisi sababu mimi hakuna mtu nisaidia mimi mimi iko na pesa yake when we advertise for the scholarships uh, we select the beneficiary through a process and then these beneficiaries that are selected, we place them in boarding high schools across the country. Uh, we support them from Form 1 to Form 4 with the various things to support in attendance, uh, transition, performance, and so that they are able to stay in school. So that is very important for them, given that these girls come from uh, poor families, and most, uh, almost, actually we pick 100% of them that are vulnerable. The parents are not able to support them through schooling and you find most of the times the girls don't go through school. Uh, when they do uh, the primary schooling cycle and it's done, going to high school is very difficult because sometimes the, the society prefers education for boys more than for girls. The support we give to them is uh, we, give, we pay the school fees for them they are given the allowances to travel from home to school and back again. We clear the school fees. We visit them in school where they study to see or to check on their psychosocial support, to check whether they have the uniform, to check whether they are healthy, to check the performance in school, both whether they're scoring and so on. And sometimes we check whether the school is girl-friendly school, where they're comfortable. These girls, transit from Form 1 to Form 4, they are able to perform well in school and the cohort that finished are able to join colleges and universities in Kenya and quite a number of the scholarship students who finished the school were able to join universities in Canada through USC, that is World University Service of Canada. The people working in the scholarship that's mentally me. I just felt like I would also be someone like them, people, someone who will be supporting students. Like I work with the people who are supporting students to go to, to school, just to support them go to school, or maybe after, or maybe that I just study law for in, in the sector of the students so that we be supporting child's rights. The cash transfer has helped me in buying books, novels, calculators, as I've said that I'm a Form 3 heading to Form 4 students. And it has even improved me. I've attended some tuitions and I've did a lot in this manner. They have been offered to us. And even it has, been, uh, it has brought incomes to not me alone, but to my fellow students. When the cash transfers comes, it has helped us a lot and it has made us, even some of us, to become who are we from now. Even it has encouraged me to, to stand firm in education and to achieve my goal. And it even has empowered me so that I can empower the rest who are behind me so that they may not lose hope because the education is the only weapon we can, we can support ourselves and we can trans, uh, transform society.